mimi na stajabu siku ya leo kwa sababu pesa zinatumika kwa kitu ambacho hakuna mtu amepiga sisi hatujapiga bibilia hao ndio waliandika hiyo bibilia wakasema bibilia ni kazi ya na sisi tukakubali sasa mimi nauliza rais leo hii watu wa ugoma tulikuwa tumeomba kwamba atusaidie na hela tuamushe bungizoya bilioni moja peke yake watu wa mwenyewe tukamuomba atusaidie bilioni mbili tuweze kuamusha mumiasi watu wa Kenya wakamuomba kwamba maini iko kwa soro siku ya leo na hakuna mahali wa kulima wanapeleka leta pesa kwa hiyo ndio maini niliwe au wanaenzi wapeleke watoto wao shule maajabu ni kwamba bilioni sahihi ya kumi inatolewa kupatia mtu mmoja kuzunguka Kenya hii kwa kitu ambayo haina faida kwa mwananchi wa Kenya hata siku moja mimi nataka niwaulize wale viongozi wenzangu wote katika taifa letu la Kenya sisi tulikubaliana mambo ya BBI tulikubaliana tutafute copies ya kutosha wananchi wajisomee na wajitolee uamuzi ni lini ilibadilika kwamba ile tulisema wananchi wajisomee na ujiamulie ilibadilika siku gani sasa tunaambiwa kuna viongozi wa vyama ndio wanataka kusomea wananchi ndio waamulie wananchi ilibadilika siku gani nyinyi watu wa vihiga mnataka kusomewa ama mnataka kujisomea mnataka muamuliwe ama mnataka kujiamulia sasa hii ngoma mpya imeanzwa this political mobilization swali la pili mimi nataka niulize nani amepinga BBI iko mtu amepinga BBI sasa kama kila mkenya amekubali mambo ya BBI campaign hii yote inafanywa ni campaign ya nini ama ni campaign ya kutafuta vile ya kufuja pesa ya serikali what is the campaign about kama watu walikubali mambo hiyo ya BBI sasa hii sarakasi yote inatengenezwa ni ya kupeleka wapi jambo la tatu kama kuna watu wanapinga BBI wawache kujificha nyuma ya hii campaign waseme ile BBI ilitoka hawakubaliani naye na watuambie ni kipengele gani ni sehemu gani hawataki na wanataka nini kuliko kuzungusha wa Kenya na porojo mingi na mikutano mingi na siasa mingi ambayo haina maana yoyote wajitokeze waseme ni nini hawapendi kwa ile BBI iliandikwa ikatolewa wananchi wakaambiwa wasome what happened ni nini nilifanyika ama niende jameni tuko pamoja hiyo maswali watujibu watuambie shida yao na BBI hii ni nini campaign hii yote inafanywa inafanywa kushawishi nani si watu wote walikubali hii mambo ya BBI so campaign ni kushawishi nani what they want to persuade who ama ni aje jameni eh ama ni njia tu ya kutumia pesa ya wananchi kwenda kufanya mkutano huko kwenda kufanya mkutano huko pesa ya wananchi ni pesa ya maendeleo sisi tulio na jukumu la kuongoza serikali Tunataka tukamilishe hii sarakasi yote ya BBI sijui katiba sijui nini tumalizane na hiyo kazi turudi kwa kazi ya maendeleo ya barabara na maji na stima na kubadilisha Kenya na mpango wa Big Four kwa sababu hiyo ndio ya muhimu zaidi katika kubadilisha Kenya sio hii mipango ambayo iko na njama ya siasa huko ndani yake Ama ni aje jameni Tunaelewana So we want to ask our friends to watch a in Gomamingi. Let us speak, let us be honest. Let us be honest. This political mobilization that is going on around the BBI when no Kenyan has opposed the BBI. What is it about? Who who are we trying to persuade with this political mobilization? Everybody has said 
BBI has presented, we have no problem, we should just implement it. So what is this all? When did it change from Kenyans reading for themselves and making decisions for themselves to now leaders and brokers and others trying to read for people, interpret for people and decide for others? When did it get there? And if there are people who have issues with BBI, they should stop hiding behind this so-called campaign. They should tell us what is it that they want change? What is it that they want in this BBI? Instead of taking the country in a circus, those of us who have responsibilities of running government and ensuring that we deliver transformation and we deliver on the big four, we want all these issues to be settled so that we can go back and do that which is important for the people of Kenya, to concentrate on matters of development and matters of taking Kenya forward. Why I think there is a bit of hypocrisy is British must start right from where they were born. The first bridge that I expected, Raila Amolo Odinga, so that he can convince us he wants to assist our president to unite 50 million Kenyans, he should have started by showing unity between himself and Kalonzo. But he destroyed that marriage. He did not want to unite himself with Kalonzo. He destroyed his marriage. He was not interested in uniting himself with Wetangula, with uh, Mudabadi, and the rest. He even went ahead to seek ways of destroying the relationship between the deputy president and the president. And you are telling us that you want to build bridges across the entire country. I want to give you a piece of advice. Raila Moro Odinga, if you really want thing, you can assist the president to build bridges more than his excellency the deputy president can do, and ourselves, start by leading by example, unite with Miguna first. Assist, unite with Miguna first, because you cannot unite, you cannot tell us you're going to unite 50 million Kenyans when you cannot unite with one single individual. And therefore, this must be understood. If you ask me, the deputy president is building the correct bridges. And that's why majority of the members of parliament, you go to the National Assembly, more than 60 to 70 percent of the members of, of parliament work very closely with Excellency the deputy president because we believe those are true, true bridges. And if you go across the entire country, you will see real relationships like you are seeing here. People who are excited with their loving, loving members of parliament celebrating progress and development with William Samuel Root. So are you telling me when Ruto goes to Garissa and is with the people, those are not bridges? We have encouraged dishonesty in leadership. We have encouraged the politics of deceit and hypocrisy over the years. We have normalized it in Bekua and Kamatiti and Kawaida. Utapeli Karozo Leo, Kesho Utapeli Mudabadi, Kesho Kuto Utapeli Ruto, Kesho Kuto Utapeli Nimrod, Na Maisha Yenere Kamatiti and Kawaida. If we end the politics of dishonesty, the politics of deceit and hypocrisy in leadership, we will cure the problems that we have in this country. And if we want to build the real and true bridges in this country, it must be anchored on honesty in leadership. It must be anchored in leaders who believe in God. Leaders who know that Ukisema Jambo Keso Hilo jambu umesema lewa na kesho na kesho kutwa litasimama. Na ndiyo sisi tumesimalia maali tumesimama because when we join together in Jubilee, Your Excellency, we believed you and President Uru Kenyatta when you told us that you are building real and true bridges of friendship among the Kenyans. That never again shall we fight over politics or over the budget views. Sasa tukiona yale ya nitokea dana mwishima na yekwa raisi. Sisi tunashidwa ni shida gani iko Kenya hii. If we are truly honest about building bridges, if BBI was about the unity of Kenya, if BBI was about bringing people together, if BBI was about inclusivity, if BBI was about tolerance, political tolerance, why can't we tolerate divergent political views today?
eh, tukienda Mumias sababu watu wamepanga kufanya mkutano with divided views na wengine wanatumiwa jeshi ya polisi polisi mamia na mamia waende wakwapie that is the Kenya we must get away from mwisho wa video nikufanya nini hata mtu akimbie namna gani haezi kimbia mpaka Yesu akuje si anasimama mwisho wa hii bibi yake nini wewe umejiuliza hii story yote mbio ya BBI mwisho ni nini? Halo? Hii video yote hii hakuna katiba inatafutwa, hakuna nini inatafutwa. Mwisho ni Raila anataka kuwa president. Hakuna kitu kingine hapo. Tusiulize jambo jingine. Mwisho wa hii story yote BBI katiba Ruto atinini uhuru mwisho kabisa. Kwa sababu uhuru Israeli. Story ya uhuru hakuna si analeta. Hii video yote inapigwa story ni Raila kuwa president. Mwaka tano ambe iliopita atukwa na hii ya watu kushikwa, watu kupigana, hii kufurugwa, saa hii imeanza kwa sababu tunaona mahali Raila anataka kusukuma ije. Hiyo anatakubali na Mwenyezi Mungu pia atatusaidia hata kubali. Bwana asifiwe. Kama ni sheria mnaweza kusema ni ya BBI. <laughs> na Kenya tio tunaanza kutengeneza sheria leo. Na hii inaitua nitengeneza kuna kuja hii 2010. If you are not respecting the existing laws, hata hiyo unatengeneza utajeshimu. Yes. Wewe unasema unatengeneza sheria. You cannot make a law by dictating people. Hiyo unatengeneza leo kufebe kesho watoto wako watakuwa wanalia na wangu. Nikiwaomba The law is made by social norms. Lazima tuheshimiane, tusikile ile ya yule mwingine, ai nyingine. Na hii kuchukua opportunity kutuambia BBI tukubali, mimi nachangaa watu wanasema ati wanakubali BBI. BBI ya kwanza ilikuja tulisoma tukakubali. Hii ya pili mnaandika, atujui mnaandika nini? Tukakubali nini? Kenyan leaders should respect we cannot tell our citizen to accept something which they have not seen. And then muandike, mukileta Mungileta zinza ni no. Hakuna kitu cha change Kenya. Kenya ni ile ile tu hii kanisa mkitaka muite Fabian. Mkitaka muite Peter. Bado hii kanisa kama mjaeka mlango ni ile ile tu. Sana nafika hapa kwenu. Mimi nataka niwaulize kama wa Kenya sisi wote. Tuungane, tushirikiane, tufanye kazi pamoja. Tuliamua tangu 2013 ya kwamba hatutaki siasa ya chuki tena hatutaki siasa ya ukabila hatutaki siasa ya kutenganisha watu tunataka siasa ya kuunganisha wa Kenya wote na kuwajumuisha katika mambo ya maendeleo na sababu hiyo ndio imefika mahali sasa handshake imefika BBI imefika hiyo ni harakati yote hiyo ya kuunganisha wa Kenya. Ile mimi nataka niwaulize viongozi katika taifa letu la Kenya. Mambo ya kuunganisha wa Kenya hakuna haja ya ubabe. Hakuna haja ya kiburi. Hakuna haja ya vitimbi na sarakasi. Sote sisi nia yetu ni moja ya kuunganisha wa Kenya na kutengeneza vile tunaweza kuishi ikiwa malengo yetu ya muhimu ni kubadilisha Kenya kupitia kwa barabara ya miradi na mipango ya maendeleo that is the ultimate goal of where we want to take this country the transformation of this nation through clearly program strategies and, and programs and policies that will transform our nation that is the ultimate aim of us coming together mimi nawauliza viongozi ambao wanachochea matusi na migawanyiko na mirengo watulize boni waende polepole kenya ni yetu sisi zote my friends hakuna haja ya fujo hakuna haja ya drama mingi na sinema mingi ya matusi kwa wakenya wengine endesheni mambo polepole pole. Kenya hii ni ya wakenya wote maoni ya wanasiasa sio muhimu ati kuliko maoni ya wananchi wengine
kila mkenya awe ni boda boda awe ni mtu ya kuuza kiosi awe ni makanga mtu ya kuuza mboga maoni yake ni muhimu katika kuendesha taifa letu la Kenya kwa hivyo tumpe kila mtu nafasi ya kutoa maoni mimi nawauliza kamati ya BBI inayoongozwa na Yusuf Haji watengeneze taratibu ambayo itaenda kwa kila sub county wananchi kila sub county walete maoni yao ya yale mambo wangependa ijumuishwe katika vile Kenya itaenda mbele na tuwape nafasi wa Kenya watoe maoni bila vitimbi bila you know, chuki mingi na bila drama na sinema ya bure tuwape nafasi wa Kenya watoe maoni please I saw yesterday in uh, Kakamega the insults from half of the meeting. There was less mention of BBI than mention of Ruto and his home in Sugoi. I want to tell those friends of mine, there is no need to hurry. I will need people to campaign for me later. Let us finish with BBI. Kwa sababu wengi walienda huko sijui wananifanyia campaign, kwa sababu nilikuwa nasikia wanasema Ruto sijui sijui Ruto sijui. Wangoje kwanza kama wanataka kunifanyia campaign wangoje. Tufanye kwanza hii BBI. Nao wakenya watoe maoni, alafu namna hiyo ikae nzuri, alafu hiyo ingine itafuata baadaye. The BBI meeting that is going to be held in Kisi on uh, Friday and uh, other issues uh, that pertains the Kisi County government. So my name is Osoro. I'm the member of parliament for South Mugranga constituency that is in Kisi County. As a representative of the people of South Mugranga and Kenyans by extension, I am alarmed by reports of planned meeting to discuss the BBI convened by the Kisi and Yamira counties inviting Homa Bay, Siaya, Kisumu and Migori county governments which are to hold, or which is to be held on Friday 10th, January, at the Kisi Sports Club and the Gusi Stadium, and which have been fully financed through county government development funds. These meetings will cost the taxpayer more than 50 million shillings, with Kisi County, Kisi County contributing 18 million shillings, Nyamira 7 million shillings, and the, three other, uh, the four other counties contributing the balance. Reports indicate that the delegates are drawn from these counties with a special bias for ODM members. And every delegate has been paid 5,000 shillings to attend the so-called consultative BBI meeting. Put it differently, the ODM is convening a political delegate meeting using public funds. The ODM is convening a political delegates meeting using public funds. At a time when the public discourse is about how to strengthen devolution for the sake of our people, this brazen misuse of public funds must be condemned with the strongest terms possible. To begin with, the president extended the term of the BBI task force for the purpose of expanding and guiding public participation. And you know the same hasn't uh, been gazetted yet. We've already spent 10 billion with the first consultation meeting on the BBI and also structuring the recommendation into consumable action plans by the public. What was, the public, what was in the public domain is therefore inconclusive and can never be subjected to debate or consultation. And in any case, consulting with who? You cannot consult with 3,000 people, delegates. What do you consult in a meeting of 3,000? It's not possible to consult with 3,000 people. Even if you give each person one, thousand, one, one minute to discuss. What, I mean, what are they consulting on? You can't finish within that day. It is therefore not, not only premature and unfounded, but also con, uh, conniving, nefarious to hold uh, meetings with the intention to consult a non-existent report. It, it's important to know that those, that report is not even, there is no copy that is in the hands of any public person. Even the attendees do not know what they are coming to consult on. Nobody has seen that report in the, its actual form. 
There is no hard copy that has been displayed or, you know, disbursed uh, amongst uh, uh, the members of the public. This can only be interpreted as, a, as an illegal move, which is geared towards diverting public money to private pockets, which should be considered criminal at its best. This is coupled with numerous reports of gross ineptitude at the Kisi County government regarding the execution and implementation of public projects. And that is why the luxury of spending expressed in the use of development funds in the meeting is very baffling. For example, we are spending 18 million as Kisi County government when the Suneka market, which we've already spent 65 million from the county government, is still not in use. It's actually quarter way done. And yet, it's supposed it took its completion, it was budgeted for 100 million. It's already a skeleton. And several county roads within the South Mugrango, which had uh, been earmarked for development, have not been done. I would like to ask the county government be, uh, this very good question that between public, a public market and an obviously useless meeting, we should have the priority. Why should we put 18 million for a useless meeting when roads are impassable? Why should we? Place 18 million from the county coffers when there is a market that is incomplete. We wish to ask the DCI, the DPP, and the ESCC to wake up for, from their deep slumber and resume their work and to remind them that the effectiveness of the purge on corruption can never be sacrificed at the altar of political correctness. That is because you are politically correct, you can do whatever you want with public money. That you are supporting the handshake, you are hiding behind the handshake to steal public money. Because you are appearing like you are supporting the president and uh, right honorable Raila Odinga, we will not accept. We assume that the same integrity yardstick that has been applied to other people or to the other county governments and uh, governors is being applied across board without fear, favor, or ill will. It is therefore surprising to see that even after copious allegations have been made against the county government of Kisi County, uh, concerning the misuse of public funds, no attempt has been made to investigate these allegations. Therefore, putting more public funds in danger of being misappropriated and many public projects not implemented. Instead, the misuse and diversion of funds is becoming more blunted by the day. It is imperative that they initiate and speed up the investigations on these cases, treating the matter with utmost urgency and competence within the spirit of the Public Finance Management Act and the applicable law. I wish to remind uh, the Governor, James Ongwai, just in case he forgot, you got your mandate to serve from the wonderful people of Kisi County, and therefore, the remaining two years, you need to stop politicking at the time, you know, because you are appearing like you're supporting the handshake, that kind of uh, politicking is ill-advised, and is also against the president, presidential directive against early campaigns. Moreover, there are more pressing issues of our constituents. When the people require, uh, what the people require at the ground is good policy, empowerment of the youth, agricultural imp implements, because our tea prices are too low, our coffee prices are too low, yet agriculture is uh, partially devolved. I mean, the government, the, the county government is doing nothing. You've never called farmers to consult on how to improve their uh, proceeds. You've never called young people to ask them questions in regard to how you can improve, the, improve their lives. You're here focusing on how to call uh, delegates, pay them 5,000 shillings within two hours to consult on an unexistent uh, report that they do not even have. It's not actually a consultation. It's a campaign. Uh, a meeting to discuss the BBI and such political agenda are not among the important issues to be addressed as at now. You, finally, you can fool some people sometimes, but you can't fool all the people all the time. The people of Kisi County are watching and will not hesitate to raise concerns as and when they arise, because that is the constitutional right. We will not hesitate. Even on that very Friday, we will not hesitate. We will come to also pick the 5,000 shillings that you are paying people because it's our money. We will also come to ask questions on the incomplete projects like the Suneka market and the incomplete roads in the constituents, especially South Mugrango. We will come that very day. As you consult on the BBI, we will be consulting you on the development projects that are sto that have stalled while you are spending the 18 million. And there are other things that are, we violated that I will not really want to mention right now, like the misappropriation of uh, the grants 
The county government misappropriated grants that were meant for benefit of the county uh, or the, the, and, and the public at large. The money that was given by the World Bank, it was misappropriated. That was meant for the, 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 that was meant for the hospital. It was misappropriated, the level four hospital. There was also the, the, the money that was also given to improve. Uh, th that very money was actually given. And then the county government still budgeted for it. Besides the grant, they withdrew the money from the county coffers. The governor did that with his proxies, under his proxies. We've also highlighted the companies that work within the county government. There is no devolution in Kisi County. Devol in Kisi County, it's a one-man show. Once the governor has said a thing, it must be followed. He is the finance officer. He is the minister for finance. He is everything. All the rest are flower girls. He decides who to be given a contract. In fact, he divides contracts that are beyond... He, 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 what he does, he demarcates contracts that are beyond 5 million so that he doesn't advertise them. Even if it gets to 3.5 for him to do uh, direct procurement. And you must consult on any contract that is beyond 800,000. That is what is happening in Kisi. Now he's hiding behind the handshake. He's hiding behind Matiangi. He's hiding behind... Uh, uh, the president is hiding behind everything. He's saying we are supporting the handshake so that he's not arrested. We will not relent. All the companies that we violated here are directly involved, uh, you know, directly linked to him. Some owned by his own son, but we've not seen the DCI go, go for him. Some owned by his own wife, we haven't seen. They are all highlighted here, the incomplete projects that is uh, undertaken uh, in Kisi, and people have drawn money. So in, in, in uh, conclusion, my appeal, I have raised these few issues to point the, uh, to, uh, the press the, and the Kenyan public, development partners and the investigative agencies, including but not limited to the DCI, the DPP and the ESCC, to the massive and wanton corruption happening under their watch, and to ask them to move with speed, because time is of essence in this matter. And any time lost robs the residents of Kisi County the services they deserve from the government they elected. I also ask the development partners, including the World Bank, to carry out the independent and forensic assessment and audits as to how the funding directed to the county was utilized and whether the intended ultimate recipient and uh, beneficiaries of any developmental uh, assistant actually received the aid and evaluate the impact. The result of this should inform their future engagements with the county, including, if more, stringent supervision that could be necessary as a condition to funding. So that is the whole thing. 18 million is going to waste on a single ODM activity being funded by the taxpayer. That one will not accept. We are coming for our share on Friday. Thank you very much. Yes, there are no two factions in this BBI thing. Whether you are supporting the deputy president or not is neither here nor there. None of us is opposed to the BBI uh, proposals as it were. None of us. And that is what we are wondering. What are you consulting on? The president gave a directive and said he's extended the task force uh, period of uh, you know, seeking further consultations. My opinion is that it is only the task force that is mandated to call for any consultation to add further to the already existing, uh, uh, you know, uh, already existing report on further consultations. Not the governor, not the members of parliament, not me, not anyone, not, the actual, not even the president. It is the task force team. And that meeting, the Kisi meeting, has not been convened by the, ta the ten member task force committee. But, but the Parliament and they discussed the BBI. Uh, Mount Kenya also met to discuss the BBI. So Kisi what, also met. What, what's the issue with this one? Kisi also met and discussed the BBI as leaders. Rift Valley members of Rift Valley members of Parliament met from their own pockets and discussed the BBI. The Gusi members of parliament met with their governor from their own pockets to discuss the BBI. This time round, there is a delegates meeting. This is not a, a normal discussion. Hold on. It is clear. The whole plan is being planned by the Kisi County government. You, 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 you cannot, 
let, let's be very factual. If it is not the task force, if it is not the task force that is calling for the meeting, which has a, runs on a budget of 10 billion, then who else is running such a meeting of the fi of, uh, 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 that is worth 50 million if it's not the county government? No, which other further evidence when the governor is, the, is there running uh, up and down calling for the meeting? Which further evidence? When it's the governor and his ministers that are running that? Is it a government project? I think it's not enough. You need to present us with the concrete evidence. Evidence will be presented on Friday when two factions will be there, when we'll be collecting our share. Because we'll also collect our share. It is the county government that is funding this whole thing. And if it's the, even, if, even if we go by uh, further, even if we go the other side and say it is the national government, under whose directive the national government is spending 18, billion, um, 18 million and 50 million? Under whose directive? When the task force is there. What are you further consulting? Who is writing the report on behalf of the task force? Because it is not part of the convenience of that meeting. There is a, there is a, there is a, let me, let, I'll explain to you this way. I'll explain to you this way. All the regional meetings that have been held have been held by elected leaders. All of them. Now, this one is a bit different. 300 delegates are going to be pulled from every county with Kisi taking the lion's share of 1,000 delegates. People, a buses have been hired. In my constituents alone, several buses have been hired to pick people with a promise of 5,000 shillings. And what we are asking, where is the governor getting this money to pay these people 5,000 shillings to attend a delegates meeting? Who are the delegates? Who are they representing? We elected leaders. You elect leaders to be, we are elected to be representatives of the people. What are you consulting back with them again? That is the question you are raising. It is not as similar as the Embu meeting where the minister was there and the members of parliament. This is a rally. And every attendee is going to be paid. The, there is a budget of 50 million, and that is the question. Members of Parliament from both National Assembly and the Senate, and uh, who are largely, most of us here, are supporters of Uhuru Ruto um, as a one unit. We are also here to make a statement on the BBI and the BBI process, and I'll read a statement on behalf of my colleagues here but we are also here on behalf of a wider uh, group that will tell you in the statement what, uh, what next. Okay. <clears throat> the BBI process was established as a well thought out mechanism intended to generate structures and strategies to sort out historical problems bedeviling the country. This was motivated by the realization that our historical problems are often raw contentious and delicate, often defying simple policy solutions and definitely requiring astute leadership, political leadership. The primary objective of BBI is to sort out a viable means of entrenching national unity. For this reason, the BBI report as launched in BOMAS was well received across the board. Subsequently, His Excellency the President advised Kenyans that there would be a period during which people would read digest, understand the document before further deliberations and feedback would be considered. Unfortunately, even before the period was defined and to our profound dismay, it has come to our attention that a section of the political leadership already commenced public rallies aimed at, the, at politicizing the BBI process. The BBI report promised the cleaning up of Kenyan politics and drastic improvement of the political hygiene as means of setting the stage for issues based deliberative politics which advance national values and democratic governance. The BBI report also promised a new start with a country that respects its diversity including the plurality of opinions and contemplated the extermination of the old order in which Kenyans were pitted against each other through the through divisive and destructive as versus them approach. To our utter disappointment, at recent <coughs> public rallies in Kisi and Kagamega, leaders resorted to the very colors tactics rejected by the BBI report, backsliding into the revealed old order 
that Kenyans are running away from. Instead of focusing on issues affecting the people, the two rallies focused more on discussing and demonizing one individual in a manner that contradicts the letter and the spirit of the BBI process. This contradictory approach has caused immense confusion and anxiety in the public because it creates the unfortunate impression that there is a sinister and clandestine plan to deny other regions of the country proper representation in the process and stifle their right of participation. After consultations as leaders, we have decided in order to pursue the original spirit of the BBI, irrespective of our concerns against the use of public resources in a process that has been blessed with full nationwide consensus, that we will participate and, where necessary, take charge of these public rallies. However, other than the schedule so far published, our constituents desire us to organize more meetings in other parts of the country to facilitate deeper engagements and wider participation. For these reasons, we have today met and resolved as follows. One, that we shall participate and contribute towards the success of the already organized BBI rallies across the country, beginning with Mombasa this weekend. Mm -hmm. So we are saying, see you in Mombasa mm -hmm. on Correct. Saturday. Mm -hmm. Number two, that to support existing efforts and complement the already scheduled rallies, we are organizing rallies in other parts of the country. We shall soon announce the calendar of complementary rallies to reinforce those already published. To these rallies, everybody, irrespective of political opinion, is invited. Number three, that we fully support the BBI report as launched and intend to fully participate in related engagements in good faith. Number four, that we shall mobilize our constituents to present their views in all the 290 constituencies as soon as the task force gazetted by the government announces their full uh, uh, schedule. Number five, that we believe that by our participation in these rallies, we shall redirect the BBI conversation to people-centric issues such as economy, unemployment, social justice, rule of law, and human rights, among others. At the moment, the discussion is centered on pursuit of political power and positions by leaders. Number six, we are concerned with reports of existence of a clandestine BBI steering committee with an underground draft report and bill. To this end, we demand that the entire BBI process be driven in an open and transparent manner by the gazetted committee. Number seven, we are opposed to the use of public funds in organizing BBI rallies unless appropriated by parliament or county assemblies. Our participation and organization of BBI rallies shall be through personal contributions of the members. That is all. That is our statement. And uh, 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 finally, we are saying that we all government agencies who are charged with matters of security should be ready to create the necessary political environment that will facilitate an open and robust debates, including rallies of BBI, devoid of intimidation and devoid of uh, personal attacks. Uh, so, kwa Kenya tunasema tuwanane Mombasa. Mm -hmm. Na kabla ya kuchukua maswali moja mbili, nataka nipatie na fasi uh, Senator Kika pia aseme neno moja na Senator na Honorable Washali, Washali mm -hmm. as part of the leadership of both mm -hmm. National Assembly and the Senate and then we'll take <coughs> one or two questions and, and we close. I start with the Honorable Washali. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Asante uh, Ndugu. Mnaona <laughs> <laughs> Washali uh, is, uh, is around. Uh, yes. Asante <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ndugu Murkamen. Um, vile Ndugu Murkamen amesema uh, hii ni mkutano wa wajumbe kutoka kwa Senate eh, kutoka 
uh, Senate na kutoka kwa National Assembly. Na hii uh, statement imedhihirisha yale tumezungumza kuanzia mwanzo kwamba sisi hatujapinga uh, BBI na tutaendelea kuunga BBI mkono na ndipo tumeamua kutokana na resolutions ya hii kikao kwamba sisi kama wajumbe eh, kutoka National Assembly na kutoka Senate sisi wote tutakuwa kule Mombasa tukiungana na wakenya wengine ili tuweze kupatia nguvu yale maoni yalikuwa kwa BBI na sisi ile kitu tumepinga ni vile wale watu wanapanga BBI rallies watatumia pesa za umma ile parliament ndio iko na nguvu ya kuappropriate pesa ile itatumika kwa kuangia yoyote na pia uh, county assemblies kwa hivyo tunataka tusisitisa hapa kwamba ikiwa kuna mpango wowote ule utakuweko wa kutengeneza rallies zile zitachangia ama zitatia mkono ama zitaunga BBI tunataka pesa za umma zisitumike mpaka wakati ule uh, proposal italetwa kwa national assembly ama kwa county assembly zote zile ziko kwa nchi yetu ama taifa kwa hivyo sisi wote tuko pamoja na tunataka tuungane na wakenya wengine na tunachukua nafasi hii kukaribisha wakenya wote wale wanaunga sisi uh, mkono kwamba wakuje Mombasa Jumamosi ili tukae pamoja tuweze kuelewa ni lipi linaweza kusaidia wakenya kutokana na maneno ya BBI BBI iko na maneno ya tunataka tuongezee maneno ya economy kwa sababu e, inafa, inakaa ni kama wakulima wamewachwa nyuma kwa mfano ile mkutano ilikuwa kakamega haijazungumzia e, vile wakulima wa miwa wataweza kunufaika kutokana na hii BBI kwa hivyo tukienda Mombasa tunataka tuone wale wavuvi wa samaki wanachungwa namna gani wale watu wa transport wale wa malori zile zilikuwa zinabeba containers kutoka Mombasa zikienda mpaka Rwanda wanalindwa namna gani kwa hivyo tunataka hii iwe BBI ya kuleta wa Kenya pamoja iwe e, kwa ile spirit ya building bridges sio burning bridges tunataka hii BBI iwe ya ku build bridges na ukijenga bridge lazima uo na hifadhi ile bridge ilikuweko awali usije ukachoma ile hiyo ilikuwa nayo na ukasema kwamba unajenga bridge nyingine hiyo haitausaidia wa Kenya kwa hivyo sisi wa Kenya tuko pamoja na tuonane kule Mombasa siku ya Jumamosi Oh thank you very much as you've seen you have here the members from the National Assembly as well as from the Senate and what we are really saying today is as uh, uh, leaders in this country, we are in good faith coming together and saying that there needs to be just one bridge that we are building across Kenya. So in that spirit, uh, we believe that we should all join hands in these different BBI rallies or D D BBI meetings where every viewpoint is brought to the table, all the opinions are brought, and not only in Mombasa, I will myself, together with the other leaders, be welcoming you to Nakuru County, for example, where we can also have the BBI uh, meetings, where we can address issues that are specific to our areas, where we can talk about the very huge uh, numbers of unemployment, where we can talk about the very, very low prices of milk, where we can talk about potatoes and all those things. So we are here to say that we shall be joining hands with all the others, we shall be in those meetings, and we shall make sure that we are building one bridge and we have one BBI across Kenya that is accommodative of every viewpoint and everybody is able to bring their views to the table. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, so unless there